Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy A71 and I have flashed the Evolution X 9.6, the latest version currently on this mobile phone. I have Galaxy A71 4G variant. This ROM is only for the 4G variant. This ROM is not for the Galaxy A71 5G. It will not get flash on the 5G variant. Right now, Evolution X currently the latest one is the 9.6 version Android 14 with latest android security update currently and the build date and the build number uh, whenever you are flashing the evolution x rom you will see that evolution x rom is providing big a bunch of customization like in the if you want to customize your evolution x rom you can just go to this section and uh, customize the rom the way you like only VOLTE is the problem that is not working with this ROM. Other than that, everything working like flashlight, Bluetooth connectivity, and the incoming calls, outgoing calls, SMS, and then there is no lagging using the ROM. Definitely, you will like the ROM. Those who do not use VOLTE, they will go for this ROM. This ROM is performing on the Galaxy A71 4G variant. Fabulous, right? The fingerprint scanner is working. If you double tap the screen, it, the AOD always on display will turn on. The fingerprint scanner is working perfectly and the face unlocking is also working fast and perfectly this rom is coming with the aosb camera which is working perfectly like the rear camera or the front camera these are the pictures and uh, videos that i have recorded and taken uh, using this rom with the aosb camera now this rom is coming not Def device certified by default but i have root the rom and i have made the device certified by installing the modules like we will open the magis application and i install the play integrity fix file to make the device certified now before rooting the rom i was not having any issues running the banking application but after rooting the banking application will prompt device pro rooted or etc etc few application will prompt after tapping ok the banking application will open but those banking application which have a very strict policy will not get open on the rooted ROM. so this is the problem those who like to have device certified there is no way to make the device certified the evolution x 9.6 we have to root the rom right now this is only the way to make the device certified but remember without rooting you will see and the banking application will be working but after rooting the bank application will have issues now those who like to have a customized rom those who like to have a good battery and those who have galaxy a71 they do not want want to use one ui they want to use the fastest rom then go for this rom this rom is coming the basic call recorder also like uh, turning it on the incoming and the outgoing calls will record it automatically these are the applications that i have uh, downloaded straightly from the google play store the google application i mean to say gaps is coming by default we do not need to install the gaps separately right if you want to flash this rom you need to watch the further video but before going ahead you need to unlock the bootloader of the mobile phone if you don't know how to unlock the bootloader i will provide video link in my video description you can watch that video unlock the bootloader then you can flash the rom if you are getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet then subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much here are the files that i have downloaded already on my computer hard drive we need to download the evolution x and white 14 the version 9.6 and this is the unofficial ported rom for the galaxy a71 4g variant if you want to root the rom if you want to make the device certified then you need to download the magis 28 currently the latest version also we need odin like we have to use for to flash the custom recovery and we need platform tools also the play integrity fix module file for making the device certified the recovery this recovery is 
Evolution X recovery currently 9.6 because the ROM is also having version 9.6 and this current uh, ROM of the Evolution X 9.66 will get flash with this provided recovery. Do not try to flash with any other ROM when any other recovery and we need also vbmeta.tar. Now all the links are provided in my video description just make a new folder and download these files now first of all uh, extract the platform tools in same folder then extract the ordin file in same folder and then copy the uh, recovery file like uh, recovery.img then copy the rom file from the downloaded folder and open the extracted folder of the platform tools paste both file over the over here when done then rename the rom file first select it and press f2 and rename it rom file is supposed to be like rom.zip press enter key then rename the recovery image file also select it press f2 just give a name recovery -E remember to make the, the to rename the recovery file by giving the name recovery.img press enter key then right click on cmd left click on run as administrator and click here yeah, click yes on next pop-up window the command window will get open i have provided a command to convert the recovery.img file into tar just copy the command from the description and then come to the command window just uh, press ctrl v the file the command will get paste automatically and we are done now i am not going to close the command window because we need to flash the rom also now we'll go back to my downloaded folder i mean to say uh, the extracted platform tools folder now i can see that uh, one file is the recovery.img and the other is converted file recovery.tar i will right click on it then i will cut this recovery.tar AR file from the extracted platform tools will go back and will paste the file in main downloaded folder so i got vbmeta.tar and recovery.tar open the extracted folder of the audin then double click the audin file click ok on this pop-up window then on the audin click any slot i will go for ap so i will go to my downloaded folder a galaxy a71 evolution x i will select the recovery.tar by double clicking on it then i will click cp you can click any slot but i will go for cp then i will double click to select the vpmeta.tar now Odin is ready coming back towards the mobile phone now in case if you are having any custom rom but you need to make sure that your galaxy a71 was on the latest stock firmware like the last or latest stock firmware android 13 currently available for the galaxy a71 in case if your mobile phone is on android 12 then you need to update the galaxy a71 to stock android 13 i mean to say one ui android 13 then you can flash the evolution x and white 14 rom right and if, if your mobile once updated to the latest stock firmware and if you are having any custom rom any custom recovery doesn't matter just follow the method now first of all you need to save all the internal storage data it will get format everything check the mobile phone battery must be charged go to settings in case if you are one using one ui then follow accordingly we'll go to security and privacy then we'll tap, uh, tap the device unlock and i will turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe then we'll go back and then go to password and pass keys like i said if you are using one ui follow accordingly and sync your google account once then must remove it to avoid any issues later on in case if you are using one ui then also in case if you are using samsung account must remove the samsung account otherwise the recovery will not get flash now if you have done all these things then simply power off the mobile phone you need to check the data cable must be connected with computer like other side of this cable right 
Now we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Mobile phone is supposed to be power off. Uh, press and hold the volume up key and volume down key. Then connect the cable with the mobile phone. Definitely you will see a warning screen in few seconds. Then release both keys. Like I got the warning screen. On this screen, press the volume up key once to boot into Odin mode. Press the volume key one, uh, uh, volume up key once again to light up the screen. The Odin mode screen is supposed to be like FRP lock must be off, o OEM lock must be off in a brackets. You will see U, which means that the bootloader is already unlocked. Now on the computer screen. Odin detected the mobile phone. This is COM4. In case if your phone is not getting detected by the windows, then you need to check either you have installed the Samsung Android USB driver or not. If not, then install it. Otherwise, you will have issues with the detecting by the Odin, right? Now, on the Odin screen, go to options, untick the auto reboot, go back to lock, then click start. The recovery will start flushing when you see pass message which means that done just check succeeded one right now click reset and click exit go back to downloaded folder then open the extracted paid farm tools folder now the mobile phone is still booted into Odin mode we need to boot the mobile phone from the Odin mode to the Evolution X recovery. Press and hold all three keys at same time. When mobile phone first restart, release the volume down key first. Release the volume down key when you see mobile phone restart. Then release the power key when you see Samsung logo appears. Now one, two, three, four, five. Release the volume up key once and then immediately press it again. One, two, three, four, five. Now release the volume up key. Just wait. So finally we got the Evolution X recovery on the mobile phone. First of all, tap factory reset, then factory format data factory reset, and then format data. When done, then format cache partition, tap yes. When done, then format system partition, yes. And when done, then go back to main screen, tap apply update, tap apply from ADB. The mobile phone is booted into ADB mode. On the computer screen, I am already in my platform tools folder and I will bring the command window back because before I minimize the command window, right? Now start transferring the ROM file by giving the command adb space site load space rom dot zip press enter key. You can see that the transferring file is started and uh, it will take a time now. So let the flushing complete then we will continue. When flushing gets completed, definitely check that install completed with status zero, right? Then tap reboot system now. Disconnect the cable when you see Samsung logo from the mobile phone and we are done from the computer. I can close the command window. I will go back and I can delete the extracted folders from the hard drive. Now we have to wait. The mobile phone will start booting to the Evolution X ROM soon. Finally, first boot completed. Complete the setup screen. All things went very smooth and very well. So this is the Evolution X ROM. Same ROM that I have just uh, reviewed a little bit. Android 14, Evolution X 9.6 and wide security update. So I did not root the ROM in this video because the video will get lengthy. In case if you want how to root, if you know how to root, then go ahead. Or, or in case if you don't know how to root the ROM, then commit me in my comment section. So I will make another tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching the video. We'll see you in my next video. Until then, goodbye.